Corals, they're bright, they're beautiful, and they're like a magnet attracting strange and wonderful sea creatures. Reaching upward, chasing the sun, many kinds of corals grew together to create this reef. It probably took them at least 100,000 years to build. But there is way more to a reef than just coral. Check out the locals. They're a wild bunch, and there are a lot of them. Around a million different species live on reefs. There are probably more different species living in one square mile of a coral reef than you would find in 100 square miles of open ocean. That's because in the open ocean, there's no place to hide, no place to call home, and most importantly, almost nothing to eat. The open ocean is like a watery desert where your closest neighbor just may be a shark. Things are a lot more interesting on the coral reef, and that's why it's so popular. There are lots of places to hang out, and there's plenty to eat, but it seems that everybody doesn't eat the same thing. Some are vegetarians, like this damselfish, who maintains his own garden of algae. Standing guard over his carefully tended farm, he checks to make sure the coast is clear and takes time out to remove a messy bit of shell. Now that's good housekeeping. These giant clams are big enough to hold a little kid, but far from being man-eaters, they filter tiny organisms from the water. Many of the residents of the reef depend on their neighbors for food. They hunt them and eat them, that is. People have given some of these predators names like their counterparts on land. Lionfish, crocodilefish, and the very sneaky scorpionfish. He's a master of disguise. Can you see him? When you're a hunter, you can roam the reef at will. It's quite a different story for the hunted. But despite the ever-present danger, even the smallest creatures can survive. These little fairy basslets are the nervous type and often hide in a dark hole with lots of friends. When it seems safe, they venture out to feed on plankton. But when hungry jacks who like to eat basslets are spotted, they scurry back to the safety of the reef. This little guy lives in a house that stings. The tentacles of this anemone are poison to all but the tiny clownfish. They can relax knowing that anyone who comes after them will get zapped by their venomous friend. Even the reef itself is part of the food chain. You can hear this parrotfish crunching as it bites off chunks of coral with its hard beak and munching as it tries to get at the yummy algae treat inside. These are just a few of the multitude of species that make their homes on coral reefs. What's really amazing is that these reefs occupy only a minuscule one-tenth of one percent of the world's oceans. So coral reefs are small, but very important. In fact, the coral reef is to the ocean what the rainforest is to the land. A very special place filled with life. But just like the rainforests, reefs are threatened by people who bring things like pollution and overfishing. The good news is that by working together, people can help coral reefs and all the strange and wonderful creatures who live there survive and hopefully live happily ever after.